So if you're wondering where my weird obsession with red consoles began, it kind of began right about here. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here, and as you guys know, lately I've been doing a ton of live streams, and during said live streams, I normally break out some things that you guys never knew I had, and you kind of asked to see them sometimes. If you haven't figured it out yet, today is exactly one of those times where you guys get to see firsthand my beautiful, custom, original Nintendo DS. Now this DS, like I just said, is the original model. In fact, it's actually a launch day model that originally came in silver with a demo of Metroid Prime Hunters. So you're probably wondering, how in the world is this thing red? You just said it was silver. What in the world did you do to it? Well, that, my friends, is my inner child that has always been available to get crafty and creative whenever I want to get crafty and creative. So allow me to tell you a little story about young Ray, shall I? Back in 2004 or 2005, before YouTube was a thing and modding wasn't really that big of a deal, Ray found some red DS housing over on eBay for about $10. When Ray spotted that red housing, he was like, oh my god goodness, I should buy it. I should swap out that boring silver for a bright red color scheme and not to mention a gold Mario sticker to top it off. And that is pretty much exactly what Ray did. I do, however, remember the process for doing this. It was time consuming, but it was very easy because there were a lot of electronics involved like the screen, the battery and all that. But then again, at the time I was only 13 or 14 years old. So that was a pretty big achievement for me. I was very much like a child genius engineering one of my favorite pieces of hardware to look really, really cool. Overall, now you guys know exactly where my obsession with red consoles started, right here with the DS. Prior to this though, there was no device that I ever had that was red. My Game Boy Color was purple, Game Boy Advance was transparent, Game Boy Advance SP was silver. It really was a game changer in terms of my color choice. So I thought you guys would really like to finally get to see something like this up close and personal. You guys saw it in the stream, now you guys get to see it here. It's really pretty cool because I have a lot of things like this miscellaneous from my childhood that I really got creative and kind made. Alrighty guys, that's been it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you have in your collection. Have you ever modded a system? Have you ever done anything cool to something? Do you have anything cool in your collection? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below. Alrighty guys, that's been it. Make sure you subscribe for new videos every Thursday, Sunday, sometimes more. You know what is going down over here on the channel. So much stuff coming your way. So many ideas up in here that are coming your way. So you guys are not going to want to miss a thing. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.